Hello, my name is Ibu and I'm a first year mechanical engineering student here at the University of Notre Dame. Here in the Go Lab, we use plasmas for a variety of things, from inducing chemistry to treating different surfaces. The question now remains, what exactly is a plasma? Plasma is the fourth state of matter. You might know the other three, solid, liquid, and gas. When you add energy to a solid, you get a liquid. When you add energy to a liquid, you get a gas. But what happens when you add energy to a gas? You get the fourth state of matter, plasma. You might not know it, but you see it in a variety of places, from neon signs to the sun. Everything is made up of atoms. When you add energy to a gas, you split its atoms into charged particles. In other words, you can make the gas conduct electricity. There are different types of plasma. We have what we call thermal plasma, or hot plasma, and non-thermal plasma, or cold plasma. Thermal plasmas are the types you would usually find in nature, such as lightning and the sun. Non-thermal plasmas are things like neon signs, and these are the plasmas we like to use in our lab because they are easier to work with. In the next video, we will show you examples of non-thermal plasmas. Hi guys, my name is Daniel, and this is something you've probably seen before. Now, it's called a plasma globe, and yes, this really is a plasma inside here. Now, if you have seen one of these, uh, you know there's two main cool things about it. The first is that it lights up. And the second is that when you touch it, it does this. Now, the reason it does this is because, like we talked about before, plasma conducts electricity, and so do I. So the electricity naturally wants to flow along the path of least resistance, which, in this case, is my finger. That does leave the question, though, why does it light up? Why does it have all these different colors? And it's to do with the mixture of gases inside the globe. Here we'll use a miniature Tesla coil to ignite a few different plasmas. First we have argon, which we use a lot in our lab. And you can see it lights up with a nice blue color. Next we have helium, like you find in balloons, which is white. Finally, we have neon, which you're probably most familiar with, which is orange. By mixing different gases like these, you can get a pattern like the one you see here. 